What it do, gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jay The Truth. I'm out here at UFP in Salisbury for my delivery. Just pulled up. Got the load of lumber out of Charleston. And, man, we got a problem. We got a problem. Just went in, check in. The guy that's over this plant, he said the load, these loads that I brought here out of Charleston, they've been having issues with the lumber being bad. Lumber being cut, cut too short. Lumber is supposed to be, let me see, he wrote it down. It's supposed to be 95 millimeters no 99 millimeters but it's uh the loads that they're sending are 94 so he told me as soon as he checked as soon as i checked in that he was gonna he told me to take one side of my bungees off so he can measure it and these bundles there there's 26 total 13 on each side the little small squares that you see in the previous video where the forklift drivers were loading them he measured all of them and out of all 26 one was only the correct measurement so he refused the load so i put the bungees back on now i'm about to call my fleet manager see what they want me to do i was supposed to drop this load and go to elkin north carolina or the warehouse and pick up a load of lumber and take that to tennessee for in the morning but Looks like we're going to be going back to Charleston. I don't know what they're going to do taking this load back, but I'm about to give him a call and see what they want me to do, man. That's the first load I ever had refused in, the, in my little eight months of being with Maverick, but we about to see the outcome, man. Well, just talked to my fleet manager. She said she's going to send it up. Told me to hang out for a second. They're going to figure out if they want me to take it back to Charleston or find another um find another company around here in salisbury that's willing to take it so just sitting around playing the waiting game right now uh, that's crazy he told me the guy over he told me he said that they have six loads in the back warehouse of the same load that's all bad he said that this wood comes from brazil and the company out of Brazil sends it to the U.S. in shipping containers. So the guy that was over the, the cutting of the wood in Brazil, he made a mistake with the measurements or however the wood was cut, something of that nature. And he got fired because like they have, this makes load number seven for them that's bad. So you think about, there's no telling how many loads were sent over here on containers to go all over the world. That's bad. So the company in Brazil lost millions of dollars and whoever that guy is, he lost his job. So they're refusing the load because they have no use for it, nowhere to put it. So we're going to see if someone nearby take it. If not, we're going to have to go back to Charleston drop it back off it may be a good thing is i can stop back by and get my cb fixed so get my cb working so we gonna see for right now i'm just gonna sit here and wait for her to call me back and see what they need me to do y'all stay tuned with locked in with your boy don't forget like share comment subscribe to the video man i'm trying to get y'all more content every day man we coming this year 24 we going up well, horrible day, you guys. The load was refused. They said to take it back. Plant manager denied it, so I left. So I have to take the load back to Charleston. They'll be closed today by the time I get down there. So I'm just gonna leave out about four o'clock a.m. And I'm gonna just take it back then because if anybody knows I-77 right here, It's 3 p.m., 4 or 5 o'clock traffic on I-77 and 26. You don't want none of that. 
but what they were referring to these are bundles they're uh one they're 13 down each side 13 on the back side 26 total he measured every bundle and they wasn't uh cut correctly so they denied them plant manager said they had too many that they already have back there that they can't do nothing with so they don't have anywhere to put these so he said they have to go back so i'm just a delivery guy uh fleet uh maverick just called me and it's been confirmed to take the load back i told him i have it there at 8 a.m so that's where we at with that man so much for the day i just hate i had to sit for six hours i sat there for six hours before anybody told me anything but that's just how it go so I'm about to go get me something to eat and call it a wrap for the day, guys. This a better view of the load that got refused. Like, see they 13 bundles all the way down. Each bundle, they measured it across. It's supposed to be 95 millimeters. It's only measured out to be 94. And they said they didn't have no more room for the bad one, so. Then these bands, they don't hold none. I don't pop the fuel from tightening the straps, but I don't depend on them green bands anyway. I tighten our minds down with the straps. So they done started unloading this load. We done got untarred and everything. And then um, we getting another load up out of here to take back to the same place. So yeah. And then we got my guy right there on the same account I'm on. He's loading up. He's going to the same place on Monday. So pretty good day today, man. They can load faster than what they did the other day. I'm going to guide them through it today because I ain't got time for that today. I'm on perfect time in the day. Just wanted to let y'all see the load, the actual load that got refused. And I know I showed a little piece with the tarps on, but that's how it looked with it off. But even the guy here, he's like, man, that's how they send it to us. I'm like, man, you know, he said they had six truckloads full of these and they had nowhere else to put them. So. so I guess they find somebody else to buy them or whatever the case may be. But we'll see here till we get loaded. Should get strapped down taut, man, so I can get out of here and hit the road, man. Y'all like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm about to post it more. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to drop this video today or tomorrow. So I'm trying to come more consistent with you guys. So just, bear, you know what I'm saying, just hang in there with me, man. I've been looking at my videos. I'm posting like once every two weeks, man. I got to get on it. Like I said, 2024, man, we're going up, man. Y'all stay locked in with your boy.